Now for our next speaker, who's going to take us through the readiness of our country, Botswana, for blockchain technology, is Navin Gupta from Ripple in Asia. But if, the, if you don't take anything else from this presentation, there is one thing that you should definitely take. There is nothing more powerful in the world than an idea whose time has come. And blockchain or DLT is an idea whose time has come. And if you look at the payment systems today, uh, they are integrated, they're siloed. It generally takes, and you already know this, this is World Bank data. Uh, if you were to send $200 across the world anywhere, it costs about 7%. So 14 US dollars will get taken away uh, if you were sending that money. And hundreds and thousands and billions of dollars, when they move, they have to pay this toll tax. Or if money is settled instantly, if the movement of money is error-free from point A to point B with almost zero friction, then you're able to get higher GDP growth by increasing the velocity of money. And that's what we are seeing economies across the world, particularly central banks, very interested in systems like this, uh, so that the, through that velocity of money, they are able to bring a better future for their citizens and for their corporations. Right? And that's the reason there is a huge amount of interest uh, that is there uh, in, in, in making this happen. So Bitcoin is one, Ethereum is one, XRP Ledger is one. And all three of them have different use cases. So for example, XRP primarily, the, 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 the big push around XRP is to be able to use it in a remittances to bring the cost of remittance down significantly. In the case of Ethereum, it's really smart contracts, right? And that's the reason you're, the, the DeFi application that I alluded to uh, could be quite useful. And then, of course, Bitcoin, which is being used as a store of value or which is the most prevalent uh, use case there in case of Bitcoin. And then there could be a combination of all these three as well, right? Where a store of value could work with a smart contract, could be used in remittance application, right? Then come XRP Ledger and then comes a company like Coil, which is taking these micropayments and essentially efficiently moving from point A to point B. And again, micropayments at a global scale in a cross-border setting becomes possible. And these are some of the ideas that smart people, entrepreneurs are building on top of these ledgers to then on top of these public blockchains to be able to serve the unserved community all over the world.